this is what we expected, Sancho West. Yeah, and, and you see it already the first zone is shown. It's the favoring people that are landing at Lazy Lake, and Savage is going to have to make a crazy rotation all the way down there, but we're on board here with Mitro, who looks like, as Sundown said, not uncontested, and someone's already yoinked the grappler there, Monster. Uh, assault rifle and grappler. We'll find out here. We're on the other side now, Sancho. It's with Kira. Kira here having a battle here at Frenzy Farm. And this is the opening moments here, Monster, of the Grand Finals here. Day one, everything sets the tone for it. And that Ooh. is the tone that Kira sets. It gets right in there with Alpha with that spray. Train hard team going down there. But Maestro trying to be the big wave is right in this fight. The third party opportunities here, Monster. Already four points here for Kira. Listen up, we're talking about the best 100 players in the European region. You have to put respect on every single player's name. And Kira's not doing that. Not here, not this early. And he's going to pay the price as Maester jumps on over, wraps this fight up. And, and that's going to be a factor as well. We got to talk about as you're here with Max is that you got to get those storm tags. You got to make sure you, you save your ammunition. You know, 137, that's a really solid thing. But where? Oh Ooh, my goodness. What a no. tag, dude. Anas should know better than to give this guy an opportunity. They are both going to reset right here. He probably lost his one chance with the lead here now, having it 50-50. But all right, he's going for the full-on kind of box battle. He wants to go for it. I mean, the indicator right there. He heals the shield, go off. He goes again in another harpoon pull. He's just going for the high damage pulls here on the zip line now, kind of breaking it all through. And no, it's not going to be enough. Anas is going to fall. Man, he really put it all on the table with that harpoon. And I think that confidence is getting him inside. You know, not gonna sit in his own little box. He's gonna get right here, put some pressure a little bit higher than a little bit. And I like this pressure right now, using that edit. He's gonna be able to close the floor if things got crazy, but nothing got crazy for Vortex and gets Blackie out of this match. Easy peasy. I mean, we're talking about Vortex here, who came fifth in Trimax's Invitational representing. He's in the zone too, just on the edge of it he could be playing for a little more real estate but instead he's trying to get some tags while he can here all right so now free mock and capture are gonna jump in it's a 1v1 it's all kind of clean and dandy here but no shots are coming in from behind the big pump shotgun shot he's gonna take it it's gonna be successful now we're jumping over to the other side. We're looking at Misty Metals. When we came in, we were looking at the world map, guys. We're looking at Misty in specific. It had four different players, not including the ones that were around the area. And Diablo is going to eat the big shot from Chapix, the World Cup qualifier. Fifth place in duos with Crew, both of which are scary when it comes down to fight Sancho. Pressure's real. The minigun is raining fire down. Lots of bullets coming in. Ratatatting through. Doing his best to get in. You're Ooh. seeing the high-level box play. Oh Gets right there. Got the big tag there, Monster. He's pushing through now. Going for the final kill. Elimination right there. Lizen gets it with four-pointer. And he's here to show that he wants first place. He's as good as anyone else. He can take it. Your CRR, though. And a little bit of a battle now. Trying to... Find his way into the build. He is going to sneak right in. He's going to oh, take Mitro. quick care of Mitro. Oh, Mitro's not going to be happy about that one at all. No, my good. Dude, I was about to say, like, the lobby is opening up here, Monster. People are now taking engagements. I think the while we're prepping for these matches, who's going to have that confidence to say, I'm one of the best players in the world in solos, and Lechi with a big tag with the heavy sniper, going to go ahead and go with that closing argument with Brutus' oh, my drum gun. And he is in the zone right now, monster. You know, on a mountain, and that's what you want to do where the zone's going to be. Yeah, I mean, he's sitting over the competition right now, and he looks like he's playing the push and tug right here, trying to force players into other players, and that's going to find yep. himself a free elim as the lobby kind of converses into one another. Locky here is kind of vibing. Presence that the players are demanding in the lobby, and the players are giving to other players in the lobby. No doubt, Milan giving some tags right there. Big hits and gets Kezner right out of this lobby here. But that is what you're talking about. There's not a lot of people in the center. We were watching in the open qualifiers. So I sit on kind of that one for a second there. A, a quarter but, mile right. at a time, baby. I get it. He's got he's going it. fast. Yeah, dude, he's going to be so furious against the rest of this lobby. And, you know, and he, he has the ammunition to do it. We talked about it last time. You know, being an Ooh. instigator coming in right there. 
getting that nice E limb, catching someone, not paying attention. You know, the fundamentals are need to be true. You always got to protect your backside, keep your head on the swivel, and let you I already being a dominant force here in this lobby here at Monster. In such creative ways, looking for the weak spots and builds, understanding that when something is freshly built, they just go ahead and say, that is the green light to get right in. And we're seeing Dietrich, Wolfies, and King, Boca, all hanging out right now, all together. We're seeing a lot of clusters here of Monster, of players. And so we're gonna, I expect a lot of these kind of like mini fights and mini clusters to kind of continue throughout different rotations as people are being respectable and not maybe contesting at the POI early on, but saying, all right, I I will see you later in the later game. I mean, I'm already seeing just the difference right now of, of styles here. Wolfie, someone who is known for jumping into fights in the mid game is getting pressured back. And this is why you got to respect players in this mid game right here. You don't know who you're jumping in on. Jump in a box like Wolfie. Wolfie's going to connect all the time there. He did not get to successfully pop the heal off, though, as he does manage to jump on this launch pad here and goes for the half in, half out. Someone was in front of him, though, so it works out that he doesn't become the focus point here, but Chapix looking to sit in the zone right now and flop her up, heal, as he kind of takes his time right now. Take a look, though. Kind of hopping all over the place. You see Maester falls there to Milan, who's heavy snipes him at point-blank range, by the way. Oh. It takes out uh. Maester. No, man, that's one of those ones you just put on your uh, trophy right there with a the nice quick scope shot, Milan. This is the lobbies are getting very back as they say look at it, all the congestion that's happening all the catacombs are all building out players are going to be now box fighting intimately all together here in zone five and a Delix goes down with the problem solver play from milan 14 points so far monster that's right milan taking down the fncs duos current reigning champion no easy feat right there but that's what happens when these pros catch another off guard anything can swing Here's Milando really kind of cooking up right now. There's another player. It's the attack, Whoa. attack, literally finding its mark here. And now he takes out a World Cup qualifier right there. One of the best of the best. It's Chapix who's going to fall too. And again, I mentioned Benji Fishy's in the feed, still tearing things up right now. So keep an eye out on him as we're approaching endgame. He's still racking up and accruing points right now. It's time to scramble though, Sancho, half in, half out. He's gotta make the run here. Milan's in a dangerous situation. Treacherous waters here. There's shots going on all around him. He needs to siphon so bad here now. Things are really ramping up amongst the chaos here. This, will it be? No, Milan's now gonna fall. And Wakey, mobile player, Queasy, all still in the game right now. Those are the guys in the back foot. In the back foot, front foot, people gliding over. Chaos is happening. We just saw Benji here making his way towards the top. Every time he rotates, he keeps pushing up higher and higher. That is his style. Expect Benji to compete for the high ground very soon. But he's not going to go for it. He's going to have the perfect timing monster. As you see there, he realizes now is not the time. And now we're on board with Benji, the king of Benji's row, who will have a tournament very, very soon, hosted by himself. Benji sitting with 13 points, looking really solid here, getting some nice tags. And I'm expecting Benji to walk away with some monster points in this game one opening of the grand finals here monster that's right we're here it's the invitationals everything's on the line all pressures up oh. and plays like this benji are taking huge risk right now he's gonna go for the heal off the all the shotgun was not in his favor here now he is looking to chop up but someone as mechanically gifted as benji can make these huge swings these huge turnarounds he knows better than be sitting on the back of the zone right now but he's trying to make the big come up he doesn't have any material this is desperate zone this is treacherous territory can he find something? He needs the impact elimination to keep him in the game. He's going to find it. It's on Snappy, the, the champion from squads here now. And this is what I mean. It's the caliber of player. It's the best of the best. And oh. Benji's going to find another one. Squeezes out Jachu from the lobby. And it's for Elon's top 10. More placement given out now. Floppers are in his inventory. He has plenty of time here. He has already broken through the top 10. He's on track to continue to be the best solo player in the region. It's just a matter if he can keep it up here, Sancho. He is cooking it up right now. He is flying 30 points and he's doing really well. Has to avoid the storm there, gets right in. And now he resets, reloads the heavy sniper, getting ready to find another problem to solve with it. And here he goes, gets right in, doesn't find anybody. And now he has an opportunity and he just gets hit with the utmost hit. And it's Umpify on the high ground. Janice alive, Queasy, and Pink. Here we go, Monster. The first game, Grand Finals, top four situation. 
And that's right, it's Queasy who's on the low ground right now, really desperate here. He's gonna land a shot as the player was in the storm there. He might just have that one roll over. Amplify is not giving up though, he's giving all the pressure from height. And Janus is gonna find himself back to the lobby now as Ping still the player who was in the zone here. You can hear the axes swinging though, the layers are congested, using a harpoon now to break on through. He sees that player, he's gonna wait for the shot, jumps on over and treats him with the 100 pump right there. It's Amplify who's on height, the harpoon's so good for this situation, not a lot of builds left for either of these players. And Queasy with the low ground peak finds Amplify, finds the mark. Six elimination, Sancho. Queasy holding down that number one spot after that game. And remember, the difference between second and first place is huge. You're talking a big swing up, and this is why 